If you remember, we, we spoke about early, a few weeks ago, early in David Teague's Carlton tenure as head coach, we compared the Bolton team to the Teague team. We've got a bigger sample size now. So we've got, what is it, seven games with David Teague. So what we're going to do here, we've had a look at, right, what is the difference between the Brendan Bolton coached Carlton side and the David Teague coached Carlton side. So, Dan, take us through. We've got three different elements to this year. What have we got first up? Okay, so the first are just like core stats. Uh, these are the, the ones that really take your eye. So, the first one is obviously we know we're scoring more than a Bolton team. So, at the moment, we're averaging 20 points yep. more than him. And the difference as well, back end of the, the defensive line, they're actually holding up better. 12 points just under 13 a game that they're actually conceding saving. less right so i mean that's a good recipe if you're scoring more conceding less you're going to go up. scores per inside 50 as well it's up just under six percent okay which so just remind me what is a score per inside so every time you go yeah, inside so 50 a, yeah. how often do you kick a goal yeah so it's it. a, yeah a, a point so oh, a score, any score okay. any score so i mean that's a big thing for me and the points difference and while this is a big niche thing this year we're talking about points from turnovers yep. and stoppages all the top teams are doing it Geelong they build their entire game plan on turning the ball over yep. um, and you see this there look, that's a huge one so plus 17 three goals more a game directly from turnover yeah just from and that's all from pressure and hunger yeah okay and that's something that you know if you remember Bolton's press conference there was three things guaranteed you'd hear something about sp sprouts you'd hear something about we're defined by pressure yeah and you'd hear something about we're a young group of players. Yep. And there it is. There's a proof that T has got that. Yep. And you see stoppages as well. That's a big thing at the moment, stoppages. A lot of talk about the rules need to be changed. There's too many stoppages. Yep. Well, we're nailing that as well. Yep. But I think the biggest, scariest thing for me is the average midfielder in the comp has 24 touches. Okay. And the amount of times we actually get the ball now is the effectively having two more players based on that start. 59.2 yeah. more disposals per game. So it's effectively like Teague's playing with two more players than Bolton. That's fascinating. Which I think is scary. And I think the you think about it as well. I remember looking at the, if you look at the stat sheet, you'd see, you know, your O'Briens, your Dows, your Langs, that have those sort of seven to nine possession games. They're now elevating to sort of 11 to 13. I think a big thing as well is if you ever gone the AFL thing and you're like a fantasy player like you and me are, yeah. and you're looking at the stats, now Carlton are always have like six or seven players in the top ten. Yeah, yeah. Where before it was like Crips, yeah. and then it'd be like all the other teams. And I think that's a case in point. That is stark. And I think the biggest one is the time in the forward half. Yep. Forward pressure, that was a big thing. That so was, basically... So it's ten minutes. It's nearly half a quarter. Ten minutes more we spend a game in, we yeah. spend in our forward 50. And, there's a, and, and to me, that's it. And a big one there. Forward half, sorry. Yeah, and then the TPI, huge. It's, it's like literally two good players. Okay. The, these numbers are... Yeah, this this is something. It's, it's good. I mean, like I said, we've got a I think it ends the better. argument for me. Yeah, well, of, definitely. Is T better than Bolton? Yeah. I don't even think there was an argument, to be no, honest. But th there's some people out there. Yeah. But I do think, to me, this is a great selling point of why T should get the job. I don't really believe anyone else in the league can get them numbers. Right. So let's move on to the, the players that have most benefited yep. from the David Teague head coach appointment. Yeah, it's an interesting one. And I don't think anyone will argue. Jesus yep. has been remarkable. His TPI has actually increased by 22% wow. already on average, which yep. is huge. Mm -hmm. And it's just amazing because he plays in his natural position. Mm -hmm. What happens, and I think a lot of these fall in that category as well. Yep. Lockie O'Brien, remember that Bolton famously played him on people yeah. so he could learn a lesson. Yeah. We've now seen him on the outside. He's prospering. Bam Bam, Matty Kennedy, we, we can't argue. Like... We're delisting him. I don't really think you can argue. I mean, these top. I mean, even if, if you blindfolded me and didn't show me these numbers, and you said pick the top yeah. five uh, improvers from the David Teague sort of era, I'd, I'd probably have these. You know, four of these five players. I and mean, it makes sense. I think the interesting one though is Cripps. Yeah. Even he's improved. Yeah. Which I think's a scary prospect. Yeah. Because to be fair, he was the only one in all of Bolton's four years you could say played well yep. every game, and he's played well. He's getting better under Teague, even. It's crazy. He hasn't even played 100 games yet, mate. Oh, scary. So, and moving then... on to the next element of this, we're going to have a look at the the ladder. Had So, what, what the algorithm has done is it's simulated every game of the season and had a look at what the ladder would project to look like if the season started yeah. from round one and this David Teague team was Yeah, so was this there. is the same teams. Everyone's got 
any changes. So North have got Reese Shaw because their algorithm's better. St Kilda have got Ratten. And what we've done is TPI has played the season a thousand times and given us their core average. So not much difference to yeah. reality. Geelong, Eagles, GWS, Brisbane. Collingwood have dropped. Richmond have dropped a bit. Hot have snuck in there. But interesting luck. Who were above? The Blue Boys Blue and the boys. Bombers, mate. Those uh, drug cheating scumbags. Yeah, mate, there you see we're there. So Dylan Shield already enjoying his decision. <laughs> and we can see as well at the Crows, this draft pick we talk about a lot. It's looking even healthier Gee, for Cal. Okay. And well, then you go to the go. bottom end as well, look, Gold Coast, Fremantle, Fremantle. Melbourne and Sydney. Yeah. There you go. And again, this is just a projection. It's just a simulation. Um, but it just sort of gives you a bit of a, so a bit of context. If. Yeah, it's a what if. So there you go. There's a, a little bit more evidence. I guess you, this is really the the argument for David Teague. That's what I've really learned from this exercise. It, it's some of these numbers, you know, they're two different sides. They're almost two different sets of players. So what do you think about this? Uh, is there anything else? Is there anything here that shocks you? Is there anything here that maybe doesn't shock you? Let us know in the comments below. This is definitely going to be a talking point until, you know, we sign the damn coach. So go Blue Boys.